guys welcome back to my channel so today i want to show you a flip through of my Gilio extra large campaña um i've been getting requests and i thought i should show you um a flip through just because i also love watching these so um if you guys don't know this is a Gilio extra large campaña in lotus this was a pastel color that they came out with so i went ahead and grabbed one and i love it this is how it looks it looks like it has a lot of texture, but it's very smooth in my opinion. So I'm really happy about that. So if I go ahead and open it, this is how it looks. Um, let me start off with the charms. Um, these are the Lux um, collection with um, Exo Carolyn designs. These are the ones that she made. So I just bought it and it's so cute because it has the little Louis Vuitton like etched into the acrylic heart. And then she has like these little two beads right here. And then there's one more, so that's how these little charms look like. Here on this side, which I have all the way in the back, are from Shine, like Sparkle Shine Designs. I'll link everyone down below. And it's just basically a, a moon with stars and a lot of like cute little glittery stuff. So that's that. Those are my charms. And then we get to the front of my planner. Uh, we go to the pockets. So m most of this is from Banana Doodle Shop. I found her shop and I'm totally in love with it. And yes, so um, this is a die cut and it says this booty be popping. And I clipped it in here with a bow um, clip from um, Scribble Rings Co. that I got from her TN kit. So I just slide that in and I change these um, ever so often because I do have a bunch of her die cuts. Then I have one of these, which is I love Banana Doodle Shop. She has her um, little die cut with all her friends and fuzzies. So that's really cute. And I think her name is Lola. Then I have this um, planner washi card from um, Squirrel Prince Co. And in the back, it just has the balloons. And I thought that was really cute and since I am like a Disney fan I really go ham <laughs> with all the stuff so most of the stuff that you see here is kind of inspired by those two shops um my um acetate here is from a shop from Germany I don't know the the shop owner but when I did get this it did smell full of cigarettes so I don't recommend it so I'm not gonna say who it is from and then back here in this back pocket I do have um this little card from milk and paper and I kept it because it has like vellum and she wrote my name on here and then here I just keep a couple of things from her I keep her little notes which I freaking love and then like a journaling card from SPC and that's just so it can have a backing and um, of course if you didn't know Julio has a secretarial pocket and then it has a zipper pocket and a side pocket so which I'm going to get into now in this side pocket I don't think I have anything I don't keep anything in here but in this pocket I do keep a couple of stickers that I use every day in my planner so um I do keep like a lot of the little samplers so I do have like once more with love banana doodle shop um miss um little miss papery more banana doodle shop I have mochi then I have some of my stickers and then um some ones more with love and coffees so I keep those all in the back here and it does get a little stuffed but I freaking love it um then we Go here I do have like this hardcover thing that came with it but I just use it so I can have like a thick um, cardstock in front of everything else and it's backwards but I don't use it I just keep it just for like the strength of it here we go into a divider from the recollections and it says make great things happen then we go into some of the um, DIY um, sheets that I made and this is what's supposed to do for like my goals so I have it here and this is just like goals that I had for 2020 and then here we go into SMM plans um 2020 at a glance and I put it here I think I got her tending list is what I ended up doing and then I just divide everything if you go up here you do see all my paper clips and these are from the, the crafting sisters and in here, I just keep um, sections I like to keep divided. So this um, heart 
acetate is from banana doodle shop i think she this was a freebie in her F facebook group so i just um printed it out on acetate and then just clipped it on there and with my ursula um paper clip from the craft sisters and then we get into the tending list from sm plants i clearly just didn't even follow up with it and april is yet to be filled out so then we just have her grid paper and more tending lists and it goes all the way till december so that's my first section. Then we have the regular um, flyleaf from Jillio. And this one, I don't put anything on it. I just like to keep it in the middle um, because it breaks off my next um, tab here, which is um, my 2020 month at a glance. And this is personal month at a glance. And this one, I have um, the fairy godmother. And... Um, this one's also from the Craft Sisters. Like I said, they're all going to be from the Craft Sisters. And this acetate paper is from um, Scribble Prints Co. And it's um, it's supposed to be uh, like a rose gold one. But I flipped it over so it can be silver just because I do not like um, anything that's rose gold. I, I like silver, basically. So I'm going to go ahead and put that back on here. And like I said, this is just... I think these are from Annie Plans. These are the month at a glances. I totally printed this all wrong. So here I just keep anything that happens throughout the day. I do keep when stuff is due, stuff that um has been like important and like paydays and all that kind of stuff. Um, doctor's appointments um, that are outside from my regular workers comp. And here's how February looked. And I like to highlight it once things are paid. And like I said, I did not <laughs> print these correctly. Um, they're supposed to be backsided. And I put them all in like the individual pay paper. So this is how March is looking like. It ended up being pretty blank because I just didn't um, have any more plans because of the whole um, pandemic going on. And like you see, it's all printed out wrong, but it's fine because when you get to the middle is when you get to the next month, which is April, which I have not filled out yet. But um, I do have a couple of things that um, I have to like. One is my, I think 11 years with Bay is happening on the 8th. And then um, other than that, not very much is happening for April. I feel like we're still going to be like like stay at home kind of situation and then we have me we had um, a couple of things that we're supposed to be doing i'm not sure if that's still gonna happen so that is my calendar from um annie plans then i have another um acetate from banana doodle shop i print it all in one um full sheet so then i just cut it to the size of franklin covey um sheets and then i have it clipped off with a honey um pot um, inspired honey uh, Winnie the Pooh from the Craft Sisters which is now my um, YouTube section so here I have a tracker of my growth um, I keep my YouTube tracker and my Instagram which is I haven't really focused on this just because I will every time I see my milestone I will fill it in but I'm not very active on Instagram and YouTube um, we're growing <laughs> so that's good Next, we have um, another um, sheet here, um, an acetate from Scribble Prints Co. And like I said, I flipped it over because I did not like the rose gold, so I kept it silver. And these are printables from, I know it's in the back, it's something tad bits. Let me, it's from Printable Tidbits. And this one comes with the front cover, and I have a post it here. Then we have the 2020 um, two page at a glance. And then here um, we have the whole year at a glance as well. And here I keep like uh, hashtags or tags that work for my YouTube that are on my analytics show. So I keep a track of what hashtags do work for um, my videos. Then here I put down how much is it that I make, um, putting taxes, when I hit certain milestones, um, releases, and YouTube videos. And here for February, I kept the track of how many videos I wanted to actually film. And then I actually put which um, videos actually got uploaded. And then for March, I kind of like get off track here at the two, bottom two weeks. Like I didn't keep up with it just because 
you know what? I'm trying to stay home and stay positive. So that's what I do with this section. Um, if you have noticed, I don't really have weekly inserts. I don't have anything that's not um, monthly at a glance. Um, I'm very functional and I like to see what is it that I'm doing in a month. And I don't use it for weekly tracking or daily tracking. But when you get to the end, you do get notes pages. And in the back, it just shows you... Um, the creator so that was from printable tidbits and i think everything else is from her next i have um my what i call my mental health section so here is another free printable from the banana, banana doodle shop from her facebook group i believe and this one says I love yourself and i have it clipped off with some eyelashes from the class the craft sisters <laughs> i'll link them all below and um I just put it in the dividers oh and these the dividers are from dividers are us um I had contact her, she contacted me, and she finally put some Franklin Covey size um, insert um, dashboards or like side tabs, and I totally bought them. So this is um, my tracker, my mental health tracker. It's my mood tracker, and I basically just track how I'm feeling each day. This is how March ended up going, a lot of ups and downs, ups and downs, and then I do have a section for like what March was and then things I'm grateful for. So I do this every month. So this one's for February. And then this one is for January. And I do fill them up with um, emojis from um, Coffee Monster Co. And once more with love. And then this mood little bubble. I forgot who I saw it on Instagram. And I totally just um, doodled it out. But I think, um, I don't know if it's... A letter by uh, by Apollo or something like that might have those as um, clear transparent ones. Next we have another acetate from Scroll Prince Co. It's like the bow. I don't know if you can tell it's a bow. Of course it's supposed to be rose gold. I don't like it. I like silver. And then I use one of her paper clip bows as well to clip that onto my side tab. And this is the a list to do section. And this is basically where I mark um, all of my workers comp doctors appointments um this little leaf right here is from lice planner action um i ended up purchasing the wrong size i think i bought the personal wine and it didn't fit and this was the only sheet that could come out nicely so i kept it just because i like the doodling um, but these are from planner tidbits and of course it's the same thing it's just her month at a glance and i printed like these for every section or like the year at a glance here i don't have much because this is just where i keep my doctor's appointment so this is january this is february and this is march i just have a lot of doctor's appointments and i keep them here because i do have mileage um, pages that i gotta track how many times i go there so i can get paid out my mileage and of course um april is another set that i need to update because I do have a lot a lot of appointments already set up. So that's this page. And it just, same thing, goes all the way. And that's from Printable Tidbit. Then we have um, my Etsy shop. Right here, I don't do much. Um, this um, acetate that I printed out um, is a freebie from the planner spot. Um, she has this as a free downloadable and what I did is I downloaded this as an A5 or half letter no half letter and I sized it down to 78% to fit my Franklin Covey and then I have it clipped off with a leaf from the Crafting Sisters and I thought that looked so cute and not only that everyone like on Instagram had it so I was like you know what let me get my hands on one of these as well so, so here is the month at a glance um, we hear the year and then here, I don't put much in it. I only have um, this blank because here I use it more for, um, let me see if I can show you guys. Because this is, I don't really show much because I do keep like my um, my paydays, how much I'm getting paid. But I'm also tracking the times I go to the post office um, because I do track mileage for going to the post office as well. So here I just write um, when I'm going to the post office, when I'm buying stuff, when I'm changing stuff, just so I can keep a track of inventory and trends. And then I also mark um, when I have um, new releases. So that's what I usually do here. 
And then, of course, I have not set up April, but it's coming. And then the only thing I have left to mark is that I will have one year anniversary in May. So I will be open for one whole year from my Etsy shop. And I'm so excited because I am going to move from Etsy to my own personal website. Um, there's so many things coming up with Etsy with so many fees and advertisement and all that good stuff. So I am moving to a new website Um so I'm really excited about that and it's already in the works. I just have to move all my listings and I'm. it might be within a week or two, but your girl is moving to my own standalone shop, which is going to be something pretty new for me, but I'm so excited. And of course, I'll always have a link down below because I'm not sure if I'm going to keep Etsy open or I might just keep it for like my build do stickers or script stickers. But anything that would be like budget kit or anything related to budgeting will be moved on to my new um, website. So yay. Then I have another um, acetate. Like I said, I print these in a full sheet and then I cut them down to the Franklin Covey um, size planner. And this one just says love yourself again. And this is other. So this one is basically um a section that i have no clue what i wanted to do um these are from sm plans these are her simple grid today sheets and it just says important dates and it has grid paper i did want to do this as dailies or to-do list but i never got on board just because i do have um an etsy and youtube planner that i do plan in and here i just keep like the main things i really want to focus on so this is just today simple sheets and i'm really happy about these now if we move to the back we have most of this came from the scribble prince co tn kit of the magic one so i do have a little um starbucks cup i have a little bow a mini bow i believe this one i'm pretty sure i'm not sure if it came from her but it's like a little pen pocket and then we have a, uh, it's like, what is it? Like a Pandora bracelet. It's really cute. And then this section is from Banana Doodle Shop. So I do have a Coffee is Bay um, die cut. And then um, she did send this one along, which I was so happy to get. This is like a little um, character that she has. And I wish she had more because I would buy them all. <laughs> And then um, here we have the um, Scroll Prince Co. like Polaroids. And then right after that, you do have like this big Polaroid camera sticker. And I don't want to move them too much because this was so hard to set up as it was. So that and I'm always like very particular about that. And in the back, I do have a, I think it's a Scroll Prince Co. It says girls just want to have fun. So I really enjoy that. Of course, it does come with a pen loop, but... Um, I don't use it. I don't like pen loops. I'm always scared that they're going to pop or something. But that is my Gilio Extra Large Campagna in Lotus. These are 30mm silver rings from Cross. And in the back here, it does have a pocket that I don't put anything in. But these are my paper clips, which I freaking love and adore. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this it's not much of a daily planner or a weekly planner it's more of a month at a glance kind of situation so i'm really happy with how it came out and i hope you guys enjoyed this and let me know down below your favorite uh, planner accessories for your ring planners because i'm always on the lookout for new stuff because i get obsessed and then i always want to find new things so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye you guys